Welcome back to another Rugby Challenge 4 Thoughts and Ideas video Part 2 and in today's video we'll be talking about We'll just talk about the passing in general So the quick passing in the game at the moment is pretty much fine as is Pretty simple stuff there What I wanted to touch on was the um, was advanced passing options So there's two types of passing or there's two types of cutout passing in Rugby Challenge 3 The first way is to hold down either left or right pass for a second release and it skips a player now that works fine and all but as the player i would like more control of who i want to pass the ball to which leads me to the second way of cutout passing and that's when you hold down the pass button and then options will appear over certain players heads i think it's limited to backs so on ps4 if you hold down r1 an x will appear over a player's head and I think sometimes a circle. I say sometimes because it's usually only one cutout pass away from the ruck is all you can do because there's typically only two backs available that you could pass to. So what I would do with the two cutout passing techniques, I would keep the first technique, which is just to hold the pass button, and I would change the second cutout option to a full control passing system. So when you hold the pass button down, it won't just give you that single cutout ball option, it'll give you the first receiver, the second receiver, the third receiver and so on. And I think overall it'll just add more variety to attack, especially attacking on the fly. You could probably perform little inside pass plays if players are running the unders lines or outside inside plays. You know, simple, simple little plays you can do if you had full control of who you wanted receiving the ball. I guess you would call it full control passing or, or maybe targeted passing. So another type of passing in the game is of course the dummy pass and in previous games throwing a dummy was probably one of the cheesiest things you could do in the game because it was uh, fairly, actually it was really simple to do. All you had to do was just flick down the right analog stick and hit randomly dummy left or right. And all it did was keep the defending player away from the attacking player and you couldn't really you couldn't really tackle him. I don't know, it was a really it was an odd way of putting the dummy into the game. And there was no what I noticed is that there was no risk of performing that move. So so the way people cheese that move is whenever they found space, they'd just hold down the right stick and it'll continuously dummy and you couldn't get near the um you couldn't get near the runner. So I think a more efficient way to implement the dummy pass into Rugby Challenge you would hold the left or right pass and to perform the dummy you simply tap the opposite button of the button you are holding. So for example on PlayStation 4 you would hold L1 and then tap R1 to throw the dummy. This kind of control already exists in the Rugby League Life 4 video game and it actually works quite well. So in Rugby League Life 4 if you perform a dummy pass successfully it triggers an animation that allows you to break through the defensive line. It's a nice little feature that adds uh, uh, adds to attack once again and it's not too overpowered like the dummy pass was in previous Rugby Challenge games. What Rugby Challenge 4 can do to this is add a little risk factor to it, a little risk to, uh, to throwing the dummy pass. So if you hold the pass out for too long and get tackled, you risk dropping the ball which could sometimes lead to a knock-on and while we're at it just get rid of the random knock-ons in general they are uh, they're just a pain to have in the game i'd understand if there were random knock-ons in wet weather rugby games but i reckon they should just scrap the random knock-ons altogether i think that's pretty much all i've got for the improved passing in rugby challenge if you've got anything to add or thoughts and ideas on what else needs to be looked at for rugby challenge 4 just let me know in the comment section down below as always, if you're new around here and would like to see more rugby content or more content in general, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you, 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 you. later.